Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to download and update the firmware on your Sony Blu-ray player using eSupport.Sony.com and also how to plug in an Ethernet cable to the back of your Sony Blu-ray player and do the update that way as well. Now updating the firmware on any of your Sony products is probably one of the first things you should do when you take it out of the box as if there are any issues with the actual product, updating the firmware will take care of that for you right away. You're going to want to make sure that you have a blank CD inserted into your recording drive before you start this process. And then you're going to want to go to esupport.sony.com. When the screen is loaded up, go down to where it says software drivers. It looks like a little disk on the left side of the screen. From there, where it says option one, type it. Make sure your country code is Canada. And then type in where it says model BDPS380, all one word and then go and click continue. From there, you're going to want to select your operating system. So go down and select the operating system of the computer that you are working on right now. Then you're going to want to click down in the drop down menu where it says firmware and then on the bottom part of the screen that is the firmware you need. So go to where it says download file now and click there. Scroll to the middle of the screen and make sure you note the software version as I'm going to show you in the Blu-ray player where to find your current software version number. And then scroll all the way to the bottom of the screen and then click download file or download now. And then when the new screen comes up, click where the two check marks are and make sure you remember where you save this file. Open up the location where you save the firmware, which will be a zip file. So what you're going to want to do is right mouse click on it and drag it to the side, in this case the right, and let go and click on extract here. The files in the zip file will extract to the location where the zip file is. Take those two files and highlight both of them and then right mouse click on it and go down to where it says send to and send it to your CD or DVD burning drive. In this case, it's the F drive on my PC. A new window will open representing the DVD or CD burning drive. Go over to File and click Burn to Disk. It's your first option in the drop down menu. And then from there, go over and then click Next to start the, the burning process of the firmware. It may take a few moments. So now we go to our Blu ray player. Here I'm going to show you how to find your current software version. So go to Setup, go all the way down to where it says System Settings. From there, you're going to want to scroll all the way to the bottom where you're going to find System Information. When you open that, it will show you your current software version. And in this case, it needs to be updated. So we will go ahead and then insert the disk. Once you put the CD into the tray, it will automatically open up another screen telling you that the, the, the Blu-ray player does need to be updated. So you're going to want to go ahead and click OK to start that process. And it may take a few moments, and the Blu-ray player may shut off and eject the disc, which is totally fine. Just turn it back on and close the tray. As I had mentioned in the beginning, there is more than one way to update the Sony BDPS380. You can have an Ethernet cable plugged into the back of the Blu-ray player. When you've done that, you have access to the internet. So go over to Setup and then click Network Update. When you do that, it will search the internet for the current software version. In our case, we've already done it, so it will tell us that it has already been updated. And there you have it. I've shown you two ways to update your Sony Blu-ray player using eSupport.Sony.com and using an ethernet cable plugged into the back of your Sony Blu-ray player. Now remember, if you have any problems with any of your fine Sony products, eSupport.Sony.com will help walk you through any issues you may have or provide you with the information you need to contact Sony. Thank you very much, everybody, and enjoy your entertainment.